Hello, how to solve a times a times a, and this equals a plus a plus a. We are solving for all values of a that satisfies this equation. Now, if you have a times a times a, this is a to the power of 3. And this equals a plus a plus a will give you 3a. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to move this 3a over here. So we are going to have a to the power of 3 minus 3a, and this equals 0. Remember, this is positive. When it crosses this equality sign, it becomes negative. So we have negative 3a. So the next step will be for us to factor out a, because this is a power 3, and this is 3a. So there is a here. And there is a here. So we factor out a. We divide a power 3 by a. We are going to have a to the power of 2. Minus, we divide 3a by a. We are going to have 3. And this equals 0. So the next thing we are going to do is, we are going to equate each of these to 0. So the first will be, we have a equals 0. Or a squared minus 3 equals 0. Now, this is solved already. We have a equals 0. So this becomes one of the solutions for a. So you can have a1 equals 0. Now we need to solve this to find the other values of a. How are we going to do it? Now, let's copy it down here. We have a squared minus 3, and this equals 0. Now, what we are going to do is we can apply difference of two squares, but before we do that, we remember this. If you have root of x raised to the power of 2, this equals x. Why? Because this square root here will eliminate the square here. So what actually happens here is the root of x is the same thing as x power 1 over 2. So this square root here is the same thing as this exponential 1 over 2. So you have x power 1 over 2. So if you raise it to the power of 2, what happens here is 1 over 2 multiplied 2. If you have 2 over 2, what that is 1. That is why we are having x here. So we are going to apply this same identity here. So instead of writing only 3, what we are going to do is we are going to have a squared minus root of 3 raised to the power of 2. Because this square root can eliminate the square here. And this equals 0. So at this point, we can apply the difference of two squares because we have power 2 here. And we have power 2 here. And they say subtraction sign here, separating them. So the difference of two squares rule states that if you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a minus b times a plus b. So in this particular equation, our a equals the a that we have here, and b equals the root 3 that we have here. So let's insert it right into this identity. That means we are going to have for a minus b, we have a is a, so we have a minus b is root 3, times for a plus b, we have a plus b is root 3, and this equals 0. So we have gotten something here. The next thing we are going to do is to equate each of these to 0. So we have a minus root 3 equals 0, or a plus root 3 equals 0. So for this one here, what we are going to do is we take this over here, it becomes positive. So we are going to have the first solution for a. So we can have a2 equals root 3. Remember, we have solved for a1 already, which is this. So we now have a2 equals root 3. And for this one here, we can have our a3 equals, we take this positive root 3 over here, it becomes negative root 3. So those are the two solutions. Now the next thing we are going to do 
is to check. We are going to check for all the values of A that we have solved. Remember, we have A1 equals 0. We have A2 equals 3. And we have A3 equals negative root 3. So let's test for each of these values of A. Now, we are going to recall the problem we have A times A times A equals A plus A plus A. So when A equals 0, so we have when A equals 0, what we are going to have is 0 times 0 times 0 equals 0 plus 0 plus 0. So 0 times 0 times 0 is 0, and this equals 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. This has proven to be correct. Now let's consider when a equals root 3. When a equals root 3. So we recall the problem. We have a times a times a equals a plus a plus a. So we are going to substitute root 3. So we are going to have root 3 times root 3 times root 3 equals root 3 plus root 3 plus root 3. So from here we have root 3 times root 3, that is root 9. Now we have root 9 times root 3, that is, we have, this is root 9 times root 3. And this equals root 3 plus root 3, that is 2 root 3, of 2 root 3 plus root 3. Because the equation of root 3 here is 1, the equation of root 3 is 1. So 1 plus 1, so we have 2, that's why we have in 2 root 3. Now, root 9 is 3, so we have 3 times root 3 equals 2 root 3 plus root 3. Remember the equation here is 1, so we have 3 root 3. So 3 times root 3, this is 3 root 3, and this equals 3 root 3. So that has satisfied the equation as well. Now we are also going to check when A equals, we have, when A equals negative root 3. So let's do that. We have A times A times A equals a plus a plus a. So we are going to substitute negative root 3 for a. So we have negative root 3 times negative root 3 times negative root 3. And this equals negative root 3 plus negative root 3. Then we have plus negative root 3. So, what we are going to do is we can multiply this sign negative times negative times positive. Root 3 times root 3, that is root 9. So, we have 9 times negative root 3, and this equals negative root 3 plus minus root 3. So, this plus times minus is minus. So, negative root 3 minus root 3. So, this will give you negative 2. We have minus 2 root 3. Because the equation of here is minus 1. The equation of here is minus 1. So minus 1 plus minus 1. We have minus 2 and this root 3. So you have plus minus root 3. So from here, we have square root of 9. This is 3 times negative root 3. And this equals minus 2. This is the equation of this root 3, and there is plus or minus, there is another equation of root 3, which is minus 1. Minus 2, minus 1, that is minus 3, root 3. So we have 3 times minus root 3 will give you minus 3 root 3. And this equals minus 3 root 3. So what we have here is actually what we have here. So at this point, all the solutions are proven to be correct. And that is it. That is the end of this particular video. So thank you.